Hey there. So I lived in a studio apartment for three years in a student building, and since I graduated, it was time that I moved. I had just came back from the airport because I had to send one of my closest friends away. I I cried a lot, to be honest.、Um, I cried one week before her flight, and I cried when she boarded the plane, and I cried some more when I went back home alone. You know, it's. I don't know. I guess it's just one of those things where you just feel very sad about not being able to see them for a very long time, especially when you have been seeing them for like every day. So I used packing to distract myself, and honestly, I think it really helped. I took about like one week to pack、um, because, like, to enjoy the moving process. I try not to let the bittersweet feeling overwhelm me, and instead focus on moving forward. Until eventually, I was excited for my new chapter. On hindsight, I guess packing was like a coping mechanism. Everywhere I went, I cried a little less. I took breaks between packing and went out with my friends. Cried when I felt like it, and sit under the tree when I want to. Until I reach that point of acceptance. I'm grateful for the support of my friends who took me out and even helped me clean my old apartment. And my landlord was even nice enough to buy me a mattress, like a very high quality mattress, and I was very happy about it. Like. Mm, those little things. You never think about it when you just keep going, until eventually you come to a point and realize, oh,、well, you know, today was a good day. It was productive. I got a lot of things done. I still have a lot of things to do, but you know, I've done it. And then it was time to say goodbye to my old apartment. I'll miss the view very, very much, but it's okay. In my own way of folding boxes and cleaning the apartment, I celebrated the three years I had in university and how much I've accomplished just from finishing it. And in my own way, I found closure and hope. I was graduating, but I was also starting a new chapter. My room is still a work in progress. I was leaving a familiar place. But I was also welcoming new opportunities, and I think it was a fresh breath of air, buying new furniture, and you know, this kind of like adulting things <laughs> that you never really get to do because you don't really like have money when you were young, but now you get to do all these things, and it's very scary, but still very exciting. Okay.